And look, it's important to us here at WJZ that we connect with our communities and highlight everyday heroes who are doing the work to make our city a better place. So we asked you to share your community MVPs with us. Always one of our favorite segments. This week introduced us to Birdhouse. That's a media house creating a safe space now to teach youth in Baltimore City film and production. Here's Tori Smith with the story on Bird. Tell me about Bird's Eye View. So Bird's Eye View is a production company. Uh, we got a warehouse in East Baltimore where we teach kids film and production. We shoot short films, documentaries, interviews, music videos, a little bit of everything. How did you get into the film industry? Uh, so I, a camera actually fell in my lap and I just started shooting stuff in the, in the community, just shooting organizations, uh, small businesses, um, rappers, comedians, just a little bit of every, everything and it just started evolving and got big. I ended up getting beat up by the police and um, a friend of mine had a camera. He was like, man, just start working with this camera. So I started working with the camera and, um, and it just picked up from there. I just was filming everything I seen in the city. Everything I seen was going on, just really highlighted it. And you were able to build up just by being yourself and work on your skills along the way. Mm -hmm. And now you guys have the opportunity to mentor so many young men and women. We partnered up with a couple organizations, Challenge to Change, Baltimore's Best, Families, uh, South Baltimore. Why was it important for you to get the youth involved in what you guys were doing? Just trying to get them aware of it and just trying to get them to see it because like what you see is what you be. All they see is what's going on in the community, all the drugs and shooting. They're going to end up following that same path. So if they, if they pick up a camera and even come in here and then see what's, what's capable of, they capable of doing, it'd be crazy. And then uh, I think it'll really start them off on the right track. So, so far y'all have done programs during the school year. I've yeah. done some, some activations in the summer as mm -hmm. well. Uh, what's been one of your favorite parts about that whole process? The Stop the Violence short films that we were doing uh, the last two summers, um, just really opening the kids' minds up. When kids walk into this building, what do you want them to take away? Um, I want them to take away f um, camera skills, how to edit, because uh, content is king right now, and if you don't control your own content, you control your own future. The kids in the program there, do you have any success story of individuals that Started off, got a little interest here, and now they're doing their own thing. Jaden right here, um, he came in as a vlogger. I taught him how to I taught him how to edit. So he doing a lot of stuff in the community. We just doing some stuff with Jimmy Seafood. So I was filming the stuff with Jimmy Seafood. I was teaching him how to edit. So he was editing, and we just passing it off to each other. Logan, um, teaching Logan how to work the camera. He already knew how to work the camera, but I was teaching him how to shoot flat picture profile. Uh, Raquel, she's a writer. Um, smooth, he's a comedian, so we got a little bit of everybody in here just trying to keep them on the right path and, and keep them out the streets. And we know there are more community MVPs out there, and we want you to let us know who they are so we can highlight all the great work they are doing. Head over to WJZ.com slash nominate dash MVP to submit your nomination. I just can't say enough about Bird and the work he's doing with our children, giving them an opportunity to get in there and hone their craft and learn some new skills, which is yes, huge. And skills like shooting and editing, we do that here That's every day. That's right. All right. We'll still do